What's up guys, I'm Nathan from Next Gen Tutorials and today I'm unboxing the Silverstone Power Supply Unit SST SX500 LG Now this is a um, pretty cool looking uh, power supply, not gonna lie SFX series, so SFX L form factor um, I have this small one, which is really small compared to the other ones I'm gonna show you in a, in a, in a sec because I'm gonna put it in my uh, mini desktop from Silverstone, which is the Raven. So let's start, uh, let's check out the box. It shows you what connectors are in it. It's a modular power supply, which is pretty interesting to note because it's uh, one of the only SFX L factors, form factors, which has modular support. So we've got all the cables right here, which look pretty awesome. It's a silent running 120 millimeter fan. I chose 120 because I really want it like to have a silent fan and the bigger the fan, usually the softer, well, the lower the noise it makes. And you've got the back, which explains you a little more of what's, uh, what's going on in this, in this PSU power supply unit. And let's open it up because that's what you've all come here for. There you go. It's a it's a pretty nice looking box, though. If they would ask my opinion, I'd say this box is made for the 1990s, 1995. It's pretty outdated looking. Like I don't really like the design, but that's not why I bought it. We've got the power supply user manual. It doesn't really say so. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. Yeah, user manual. It's not really important, but there you go. And the power supply. It doesn't say what this one is. Oh, this is the user manual. I'm sorry, guys. This is the user manual. The other one is, I think, just a little description of uh, what the thingy actually is. We've got the back panel for the power supply unit, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Let me just take it out of the bubble wrap. There you go and put that away all the cables so we've got the uh, power cable we've got the modular um well i'm not really familiar with all the names of the cables but we've got this one and we've got this one We've got a lot of cables, which I'm probably not going to use. I'm probably not going to use all of them because, you know, that's why I bought a modular one because it saves me space in my mini tower because uh, I've seen a few pictures of it and I, f I feel like I'm going to have to really cram all those cables in nice and tidy before putting anything else in there. And we've got the little bolts. And some even smaller bolts. And of course, what you've all been waiting for. Ba -ba -ba -ba, the mini power supply unit. Which looks beautiful if you ask me. Ooh, let me get it out of its huge bubble wrap. It's, ooh, yeah, it looks really nice. It's got like the silver stone logo and text on the bottom side, on the back side of it. You've got the fan with the little frost signal, well, I mean actually the uh, snowflake logo, the modular side here, and the power entrance here with the on off switch, which uh, actually if you're also building the Raven case, when, when you put it in, make sure that it's turned on and not off before putting it actually in. Now what I'm going to try and do when putting this uh, power supply unit in, I'm going to first check if it's a loud one. If not, then uh, I might change the fan since it's a 120 millimeter fan and it has quite a lot of space for a fan. I'm going to see if I can change it because uh, I checked online and it, they did leave about like three or five centimeters. For a, for a different fan in the case, so if you bolt it open, 
you might be able to fit another fan in there that's a bit more quiet. But I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to try that because I don't really have a lot of experience with this. But anyhow, that's it for the unboxing of the PSU of my uh, new build. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.